in those last few minutes, but unfortunately just denied right at the end. What are your views on that? First of all, fair, fair play to Cardiff. Brought a lot of uh, energy to the game and um, it was a great spectacle on a Friday night. I thoroughly enjoyed playing the game, but uh, I think once again, the clock just got the better of us. Happened a couple of times this season. A uh, little bit loose at the start. Gave away a couple of soft tries, I think, on review. But uh, for me personally, it was a great privilege to uh, get back in the side and, and have a run around with the lads. I yeah. really enjoyed it. Um, what happened in those last 10 minutes? Because uh, for the first 70, we kind of struggled for a bit of territory, but then suddenly the offload stuck and we just looked great. And um, as I say, you know, two great tries, but unfortunately just snatched it away at the end. Yeah, I think, I think to be honest with you, it's uh, difficult, obviously, you know, no excuses, but throwing together a bunch of boys, but I think we adapted really well. Obviously, understandably, first half, even first 60 minutes is taken getting used to each other, people's positionings, set piece work in the line out, etc. I mean, my person as well probably could have done a bit better in that area, but I think it was uh, it was great to, to see what we can put together in, in that last 20 minutes. And like I say, it's more of our season, but now it's about you know the last few games really nailing that quality, but bringing it from the first minute to the 80 minute and uh, getting that 80 minutes performance. Um, you worked tirelessly with Rory Bartle in that second row tonight. Um, picked up a ball again, Glenn going for man of the match. How did it feel to be out there? Yeah, no, like I said, I've personally been a little bit disappointed, to be honest with you, Oli. Um, been working really hard this season. Uh, it's been in my first season, played a lot in the second row. Um, but uh, so it's a privilege to play with Bart. He's a, he's a great leader and uh, it really spurs me on to play alongside him. And uh, like I said, I, I hope that for the last few games now I can sort of get myself more involved and uh, finish the season on a high note and uh, keep my head held high. I was going to say, um, for the team, those last 10 minutes we can take a lot from and uh, also personally you'll be looking to build on this as well coming, going forward. Oh, of course, like I said, I work, I try and work hard in, during the week and uh, it's, this is nice but at the end of the day we want results. We're here to win the game. You know, rugby's a win or lose game and uh, we want to be knocking it out can't see no reason why we can't go uh, unbeaten from now till the last game of the season. Uh, the Highlanders, a bit different this week, obviously got some academy boys in training as well. Um, they added some real uh, real quality in there, actually. Yeah, I, I, I mean, we trained uh, Monday night and Wednesday night. And, uh, you know, it's testament to say, like, I think there's a lot of good quality players in and around this area of the country, southwest England, and the like, Highlanders are a perfect example of that. And boys have fit in, fitted in tonight, like, there was no, no, you couldn't sell the difference. Like they've been training full time all season, so fair play. I won't name more. Some like I say, there's a lot of boys making their debut, but uh, fair, t fair play to them. Uh, they did really well. Yeah. Um, and just finally, now looking to build on on uh, on what was a, an encouraging performance, certainly in that second half. Um, Richmond away technically next weekend. They'll be bang up for that. So uh, we've got a few wrongs to right from earlier in the season in that one. Yeah, hell of a journey back away, away home. No, but uh, no, look, hey, we lost them start at first start. Of, Sort of start, uh, start end of the season, so we'll be looking to wrong some rights. We were really disappointed that night, and uh, like I say, we we got full belief in why we can't go unbeaten between now and the end of the season. So uh, yeah, well played today, uh, Ross. A proud night for the for the amateur side of the club, getting a few boys involved in the first team. Um, a great performance, particularly in that second half, and unfortunately it was just snatched away from us at the end. Yeah, absolutely. It's fantastic to see certain guys get off the bench from the Highlanders and have run around. Um, it gave them an opportunity to stand up against quality opposition from Cardiff and show what they could do. Aaron Booth had a fantastic first 50 and set the base really well for Josh Barton, who obviously sniper on the edge and got in under the six for a try, which is something that he's going to cherish for a very long time. Yeah, uh, what do you think it was about the, the first 70 minutes? Because suddenly after the clock ticked past 70, we just sprung into life, got those two tries and got, got back on, uh, on level terms. I think it came down to us perhaps not being as aware as we should have been of where the space was and what we were trying to play. Um, they started to get a little bit tired, but then when they got tired, we got energised. We needed to get energised from kick-off rather than the last 10. But on saying that, when we did get energised, look at the rugby we played. It was absolutely outstanding and... We came that close. Yeah. Um, as I say, great experience for, for some of the Highlanders guys. This is something they can really build on for, hopefully, their rugby careers. Yeah, you know, this is just the first step for all those guys. You know, they're going to get another chance, and whether it be in the pre-season or um, the actual season, whether it's being a cup game or a championship game, you know, this is just the beginning for those guys, um, and there'll be more to come. Um, so, talk to us about the week, a, a great opportunity for obviously you guys to train with them a couple of times um, and you, you led them through that and then they got their opportunities off the bench tonight. Yeah, it's been a massive learning curve for all of them. 
um, especially the young guys, even some of the older guys, they've learned something and they've, they've picked up the pace and the tempo in terms of how they play their rugby. And that's going to stand us in massively good stead in the week going forward because we've got Richmond 2s next weekend, who are a very, very good side. Yep. As I was about to allude to, you just did. Um, this will give the, some of the Highlanders some great confidence going into the rest of their season as well. Yep, we've got Richmond 2s um, a week tomorrow. They normally play Richmond's b &I Cup games, so the fact that we've had this game tonight for some of our guys, um, it'll bring the rest of our boys up to their level and uh, we'll give them a good run out. Also, the first team players really stood up tonight as well. Um, must be pleased with the way that they interacted with uh, with the Highlander boys. Yeah, absolutely outstanding. Joe and uh, Don McGeeky were fantastic tonight. Rory Bartle has been a massive um, leader on the pitch and off the pitch as well. He's really taking the boys under their wing. Um, and also Dean Shields has been fantastic growth for someone like Alex Watts. That's how Alex Watts is going over the last week because of guys like Dean Shields stepping in and helping him out. Um, you kind of shared the, the coaching responsibilities with Peter Richards this week and also tonight. How was that as an experience for you? Yeah, fantastic. It's great to learn from someone of Pete's calibre. Um, not only his playing calibre, obviously his coaching calibre. It's been fantastic. Um, I've learned an awful lot and I'll continue to learn working with Pete. Well done tonight. Thank you, Mike.